Hello everyone, this is Justin Simmons, DKC Realty. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Now today, covering a topic that comes up all the time from my seller clients. Hey Justin, I want to sell my home. I want to buy the next one. That's great. But the question becomes, what order should we proceed in? So a lot of times people are like, oh, I need to find my next home first and start buying it first before I put my current home on the market. Now, it makes sense. A couple of legitimate concerns there. One, we don't want to be without a home. So if we sell the current one and we haven't yet purchased the next, where are we going to go? Second thing is, if we haven't found the home that we want yet, why would we sell the one that we're currently in? We're already here. Again, I got gotcha. you. Things to consider though. Main point. When it comes to the financing of your new home, how are you going to accomplish that? Well, a lot of times my clients will tell me, well, Justin, I'm going to take the proceeds from the sale of this one to pay for the next one. Gotcha. Makes sense. But now we got a little bit of a conflict. It's an order of operations issue here. If we need the proceeds from our current home to buy the next house, then we have to sell the current home before we can get the next one, right? Because if we don't have the money coming from anywhere else, what are we gonna do? Now, when we're talking about money, we specifically mean the down payment for our purchase as well as covering the closing costs. If that's coming out of the equity we have in the house we're selling, well, we gotta get that equity first so we can put it into the new home, okay? So, it's one thing. The other thing when it comes to financing that's not often considered is your debt to income ratios. So if you're looking to buy the next house and you still plan to have a mortgage, I mean, you need to be qualified, right? A lender has to give you a pre-approval, make sure that the numbers work. If you have a mortgage on your current home, or even if you don't, maybe you just have taxes and insurance, those are expenses, debt that you pay monthly. That's debt is going to affect your debt to income ratio because the next house you're still buying with a mortgage. So now, even if you did have the cash separately from selling your own home to buy the next one, you might not have a high enough debt to income ratio to qualify for the loan that you need for your next purchase. Okay? So two big things when it comes to financing that are suggesting to us the order that we should proceed. So what can we do? Well. Let's put our home on the market, make sure we're priced appropriately, of course, great aggressive marketing, your real estate professional will handle that. When it comes to getting offers, we can see where we're gonna line up in terms of price, right? The market will tell us what the value of the home is. And we can determine if we have enough to proceed with the purchase. Now, a lot of people are like, well, wait a minute, I still need to find the next home. 100% right. So when we start getting those offers, when we pick one, we get into contract, that contract to sale, that paper, helps go along with the pre-approval. It's proof to the seller of the home you wanna buy that you're gonna be able to afford it. Now imagine if someone was selling their home, looking to buy yours, needed their home to sell before they could buy yours, but didn't have any evidence that they were able to sell their home. Wasn't even on the market yet. What would you do with that offer? So it's the same thing on the other side. So once we have what we need, locked in proof that we're able to proceed with the purchase, we can start getting serious about putting in offers on your new home. We can start looking earlier, of course, but now we have the concrete proof that we need to submit offers. We haven't talked about our big concern. What happens if I can't find a new home? Okay, we're working on that. So one of the things we do as a contingency is we can say in the beginning, when we put your home on the market, that this sale is contingent upon you being able to find another home. So the buyer of your home knows up front the risk that they're taking. But of course, we're checking the market daily. We know what you're looking for. Sometimes I even bring people a sample of homes when I first meet with them, just to let them know that what you want exists. Right, so we're gonna find it. We're gonna be aggressive putting in offers. We're gonna put our best foot forward to secure the new home that you want for you and your family. 
but it is a balancing act. We got to make sure we're moving forward with the sale oftentimes in order to move forward with the purchase. And then we synchronize both transactions at the same time. So we have a very small window, if any window, between you selling your current home and purchasing your next one. There's even other terms we can add into the sale of your home that can help in case there's a little bit of a gap, maybe a week or two. Of course, talk with your real estate professional, talk with your attorney. We will lay out a plan that's specific to you and makes you comfortable moving forward towards your dreams. You don't have to wait. We don't want to go in reverse because if we're out there trying to buy a home, need to sell ours, don't have the money we need, debt to income doesn't work, we're just going to be chasing our tails basically which we don't want to do with your valuable time. I hope this gives you a good explanation of how we can balance your sale with your purchase. Yes, we can do both things pretty much simultaneously. It's a juggling act, but that's what we're here for. In the meantime, check out some more videos popping up, been popping up throughout this whole video. You can also check the comments and descriptions below to see more. The hashtag JSBX Homes, we are all over the social so you can find us wherever you are. And you can subscribe to this channel, three educational real estate videos every week, plus additional bonus content. So thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day. Look forward to talking to you soon.